Hi everybody. Today I'm going to address one of the two nemesis of uh, video recording. Uh, number one uh, is lighting. Number two is audio. Audio is a problem. Uh, usually because you've got a, a, a microphone on your camera and it's stationary and sometimes they're not the greatest and sometimes they're not the best but you know they're a solution that basically says I'm going to do the best I can with what I've got. Um, but there is an, a, other ways around it. And here's the limitations on the camera. Uh, number one, you pick up a lot of ambient noise and get, get a lot of room noise and room echo, as you can probably hear right now. And as you step away, it becomes less and less, you know, uh, less and less clear, less and less loud, and uh, everything else is going to start taking its, you know, that place. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce some ambient noise here. Uh, let's go with the microwave and the dishwasher. Um, and as you can tell, you get a lot of background stuff with background noise, which is, you know, hard for you to cope with, and also, you know, muddles up the quality of the video because it's distracting. Well. One of the solutions is to purchase what they call a lavalier microphone. It's, it snaps onto your shirt or somewhere on your clothing and then picks up your voice from there. Uh, the microphone then plugs into a recording device like your camera or uh, you know uh, an MP3 player or something like that. The, the problem with that is uh, number one, lavalier mics are 25 bucks a piece. Uh, the uh, Audio Technica, I think, is the uh, 3350 is around that price point. Uh, and then you gotta plug it into something like your camera. Well, my camera doesn't have an audio input. So there's another problem, you know? Okay, I can't plug it into my uh, uh, audio input on my camera. Now I gotta buy some sort of MP3 player, MP3 recorder to, you know, get around that. Well, here's my solution. I got an iPod, and an iPhone will do as well for this as well as a, uh, um, Android device uh, recording software as you can see is, is built right into the OS so you know we're ready to record with that um, and I purchased from Big Lots a uh, earbud microphone combination okay which will then become my microphone for my recording device. On top of that, this nice little microphone has a start and stop button on it, plus a clip. So I can put that on my, on my uh, lapel, on my collar, or on my shirt. Now I'm sure that eventually will break off, but there's other ways around that. And you can use Velcro or uh, an alligator clip if you wanted to, to hold that up. Another nice thing is, you've got the earbuds so you can check your audio quality see what kind of recording you're making. Um, okay, so as you can hear the dishwasher's going, the microwave stopped. I'll start the microwave again. A cup of coffee's getting really hot. Okay, I'm gonna mic myself in. And uh, by that I mean I'm gonna put this on my, on my collar. And here's my unit. I'm going to hit record. As you can see on the top, you get the red indication that you're recording. I'll put it in my pocket, and then I'm going to walk away and do everything I did at the beginning of this video. Um, I'm going to do a sound, basically a, a, a sound a snap so that I know how to synchronize these two videos, these two audio, sorry. Okay, what that does is it creates a, a snap on your video, on your audio timeline and you can see it and then you can match the two together so that you get good synchronization. Okay, so 
uh, as soon as I clap, I switched over to the uh, iPod uh, uh, microphone re uh, recording device. So I'm going to walk away. And uh, as you can hear, the microwave and the dishwasher are running. I'm going to go down here. And if you can see me, I don't know if you can hear me, but uh, I know you'll be able to hear me better than you did last time. So here we go. I'm walking back. And you should have been able to hear me pretty crystal clear that time, as opposed to the, you know, using the camera microphone instead. So um, I'm going to switch here just for effect. And now we're on the camera uh, microphone. And I'm going to switch one more time. Now we're on my lapel microphone. And you probably heard me tapping it. Uh, this is another thing that might be an issue is that if the microphone rubs against your clothes, it might make some noise. But that's my little solution to my audio recording issues with my camera. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's a closer look at the recording rig I'm using to record as a lavalier mic. Um, this is a the let me see if I can see that. Yeah, there we go. The Sentry uh, mic buds from uh, Big Lots, the whole five dollars, uh, hooked up to my iPod. I mean, you could hook it up to a uh, iPhone or, if you wish, a uh, Android device with a recording program similar as this. As you can see, it's got a VU meter, so you can see how much input it's getting. Um, this is the microphone. As you get closer, as you get closer, you see that the VU meter gets better. Um, the other nice thing about this rig, this sort of setup, is it comes with earphones, and you can basically play back your audio right into your ears. And uh, you know, uh, probably not while you're not while you're recording, but after you've done recording, to check your audio levels. Uh, it's quite nice, and it's quite a handy rig. Um, after you're done, you can easily bring this back into your editing software and queue it up. Okay, so there's my five-dollar lavalier mic uh, solution using an iPod Touch version, uh, I think it's generation 2, but it doesn't really matter which iPod you use or what kind of recording device, but that's a simple solution. Thanks for watching.